As with all of our museum videos, the script that we use is the plaques that the museum has on the walls and other places. We do not add nor do we take away from the wording of these plaques. All of these videos are made for education and entertainment purposes only. We are Kentucky, Tennessee Living and we are here at the West Tennessee Delta Heritage Center visiting the Hatchie River Museum. We wish to thank everyone at the center for their wonderful, helpful, and well-informed staff members. We truly enjoyed our visit there. A quote on the Hatchie River Museum wall. Quote, in the end, our society will be defined not only by what we create, but what we refuse to destroy, unquote, by Diane Demalski and J.P. Myers. Fish. 104 fish species are recorded from the Hatchie River. The richest fish diversity in all of Mississippi River tributaries in Tennessee. The great variety of fish is largely due to the river size and the good condition of its aquatic habitats, especially relative to most other rivers in the region. Minners and shiners comprise the largest group with 23 species, followed by the perch family with 17 species of darters. Fish such as the northern maltum, naked sand darter, scaly sand darter, and blue sucker, which tend to be rare or declining in other rivers in their range, can be locally abundant in the Hatchie River. Others, like the alligator gar, have not been encountered in years. From the hefty 70-pound flathead catfish to the 2-inch smallest maltum, the Hatchie River holds 11 species of catfish, perhaps more than any other river in North America. Beaver The beaver is the largest North American rodent. Few animals have played such a large role in American history as the beaver, whose highly desired fur fueled much of the early European exploration. Once eliminated from the West Tennessee by overtrapping, the beaver has made a strong comeback and is widely distributed throughout the region. Beavers are remarkably accomplished dam builders and wetland engineers. By damming streams and flooding low-lying areas, they can profoundly affect stream ecosystems. Their ponds become sediment basins, improving downstream water quality. However, the beaver can be a pest in some areas by destroying valuable trees for timber. Perhaps no single species in the Hatchie River watershed influences the Hatchie River ecosystem as the beaver. Reptiles and Amphibians Did you know that Tennessee is one of the national leaders in amphibian diversity with over 70 species? Roughly 90 species of snakes, lizards, turtles, frogs, toads, salamanders, and sirens. And the strange eel-like amphibians called Antifumus inhabit the Hatchie River Basin. Some of the rarer Reptiles are the alligator snapping turtle, the largest freshwater turtle in the world, green anno, and timber rattlesnake. One of the most uncommon amphibians, the crayfish frog, lives in the underground burrows of the crayfish. Insects 
Four insect orders, beetles, flies, bees, and butterflies, account for 80% of all known species. Aquatic insects found in the Hatchie River include stoneflies, mayflies, dragonflies, caddisflies, beetles, bugs, and true flies. Preserved Plants from the Hatchie National Wildlife Refuge The Hatchie National Wildlife Refuge contains almost 80% of the frequently flooded bottomland hardwood forests. This nutrient-rich ecosystem sustains a wide range of plant species. These plant specimens are hand-collected around the Hatchie, dried, pressed, and preserved. Preserved plants such as these provide us with key information about plant diversity and distribution within a specific place and time. Cottonmouth The western cottonmouth can commonly be encountered in the Hatchie. While it stands its ground and displays its cotton white mouth when threatened, stories of the aggressive nature of this venomous snake is often exaggerated. Up to 29 species of snakes are recorded in western Tennessee, only four of which are venomous, the cottonmouth, timber rattlesnake, pygmy rattlesnake, and copperhead. Bottomland Hardwood Forests The Hatchie River is one of the best remaining examples of the rare type of river and bottomland forest ecosystems. These wood planks are examples of some of the tree species that thrive within the Hatchie River bottomlands. This type of ecosystem is found wherever streams and rivers frequently flood. The hardwood trees are often develop a unique characteristic which allows them to survive while the submerged in water, such as the cypress knees and fluted trunks. Birds Mallards feeding in flooded oak flats and bright yellow protonotary wobblers flirting in water elm. Birds are some of the most eye-catching fauna in the Hatchie Forest. Nearly 250 bird species have been reported from the watershed and about 200 species occur annually in the watershed. Almost 30% of the total number of species found in the United States. Some birds, like the pleated woodpecker, are common year-round residents. Others are here only for a portion of the year. Neotropical migrants are from one group of birds that are receiving attention from conservationists because their populations have declined across the United States. These birds nest in North American forests in the summer, then fly thousands of miles each fall to overwinter in the tropical climates of the Caribbean and South America. The Cerulean Wobbler and the Swanson's Wobbler are two of the rarer non-tropical migrant songbirds that nest in the Hatchie River forests. Lost Species up until the late 19th century, the forest of the Hatchie River and surrounding uplands held our largest woodpecker, the ivory bill noisy Carolina parakeets, and immense flocks of passenger pigeons. Under the enormous chestnut trees, black bear and elk fed on fallen chestnuts. Mountain lions and red wolf packs prowled while sallow-tailed kites floated gracefully above. Gone forever are the parakeet and pigeon. The ivory-billed woodpecker has not been seen since the 1960s and presumed extinct. Black bears, elk, red wolves, and kites are not extinct, but they no longer occur in West Tennessee. An imported blight decimated chestnut trees, removing the important source of food for the wildlife and one of the most dominant trees in the forest for the eastern United States. Mammals 
Roughly 60 species of mammals occur in the Hatchie River watershed, of which about 36 species can be found in the river and bottomland habitats. Mammals represented in the watershed are the opossum, shrews, moles, bats, armadillo, rabbits, squirrels, beaver, rats, mice, raccoon, weasel, mink, skunk, bobcat, and deer. The big-eared bat, southeastern shrew, river otter, southern bog lemming, and meadow jumping mouse are some of the rarer animals. American Mastodon Fossils, Mississippi River, West Tennessee, 1998.2.3, 1998.2.4, and 1998.2.5. Enormous mammals such as the giant sloths, saber-toothed tigers, and mastodons roamed North America up until about 14,000 years ago. These fossilized atlas vertebrae, thoracic vertebrae, and humerus bone were found in the Mississippi River. They belong to a mastodon that once occupied West Tennessee, CA, 10,000 to 11,000 years ago. We at Kentucky Tennessee Living wish to thank you for watching our videos on the Hatchie River Museum. We would also like to thank the staff at the museum for their helpful, pleasant, and knowledgeable employees. Be sure to drop by and say hello if you are ever on the Interstate 40 passing by Brownsville, Tennessee. We at Kentucky Tennessee Living wish to thank everyone for their continued support of our channel and watching our videos. Please like, subscribe, and leave us a hey y'all in the comments section below. And be sure to click the bell for notifications of our future videos. The more likes we receive, the more likely YouTube is to share our videos with other viewers. Once again, we thank you for coming with us as we take a look at the history of Kentucky and Tennessee and the Appalachian Mountains.